Riverside. I'm Hannah Dexter, your senior class president. Happy October. This month, we have some exciting things planned for you. If you'd like to help make it a success, come to room D307 on Wednesday right after school. Also, freshmen, there should be a link on your AA page to vote on your class representative for student council. That's all from student council. Thank you and have a great day, Legends. Hello, Legends. Welcome to Northside TV. Here's the latest edition of the Weekly Northerner for Friday, October 6, 2023. The PSAT is next week for all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. On Wednesday, October 11th, all students besides seniors will take the PSAT. You must arrive to school by 720. This includes students who have co-op, AM Anthos, AM Amp Lab, alternative programs, internships, etc. Make sure to have your laptops charged the night before and restart them before Wednesday so they are updated. If you are a student in co-op, Anthos, Amp Lab, or have an internship, send in photos to be featured in the yearbook. You can send in your photos to the Northside Yearbook Instagram page or email them to Ms. DeBailey. The girls' basketball season is quickly approaching. Any young lady interested in playing basketball this season will need to sign up in the athletic office. In order to try out, you will need to have a physical on file today by the end of the day. Yesterday was the latest meeting for the book club. The club meets each Thursday from 3.10 to 4 p.m. in room D319. The first book being discussed is Everything Sad is Untrue by Daniel Nanyuri. All students and teachers are welcome to join. If you're looking to get involved, After School Northside's Mock Trial Club is always looking for new members. All students interested will have a chance to participate in the trials as a prosecutioner or defense attorneys or as witnesses. Are welcome to come in room B207 on Wednesday from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. for the next meeting. You do not need to have any prior experience or knowledge about the law or trials. Please see Ms. Heisman in B207 for any questions. Looking for a way to better use the touchscreen on your school laptop, phone, or iPad? Ms. Swope is still selling computer styluses for $1 each. All sales would directly go to the girls' tennis team for new gear. If you would like to purchase one, stop by room F119 before or after school. Students, as it gets colder outside, don't forget blankets should be not worn in school for any reason. If it cannot fit in your book bag or inside your locker, leave them at home. This is a safety and health concern. The robotics team will meet before the before tonight's football game, the team meeting starts at 6 p.m. and will be in room H111 for computers and driving. Team members will need to go to door 17. After the game is over, the team will stay to help clean the stadium. See Mr. Fisher if you have any questions. And now for your weekly weather update with tonight's forecast and overview of the next several days. You would definitely need to grab a blanket or a sweatshirt before heading to the game tonight. Expect a kickoff temperature in the lower 60s falling into the lower 50s by the time the game ends. It will also be a little bit breezy and there is a small chance of a few sprinkles. Late, under a mostly cloudy sky, Friday night lows bottom out in the mid 40s. The weekend ahead brings us to our first field for fall weather as it gets breezy and cooler with highs each day topping out in the middle 50s. There is a chance of lake enhanced rain showers Saturday, but coverage will be spotty. We should get the chance to dry out on Sunday. Early next week, highs will range from the upper 50s to the mid 60s, so the lows will be around 40 degrees. And now for your Legend Sports update. Tonight, the Northside's football team is back at home as they look to earn their fourth win of the season as they take on Wayne for senior night. Kickoff at Chamber Fields is at 7 p.m. Be there and wear pink to show your support for your fellow legends. Tickets for tonight's game are $7 and can be purchased on Event Link or at the gate. Here's what else is happening next week for, the, for Northside Athletics. Coming up, you'll hear from the head coach of the football team. How are the players and coaches feeling after defeating Southside to keep the totem pole here at Northside? Um, players feeling good, coaches is feeling good. It's always good when we can keep the totem pole at Northside year in and year out. 
what were some of the takeaways from last week that helped lead the Legends to victory? Uh, we was faced with a lot of adversity last week. Um, we turned the ball over a couple of times in the red zone. Um, and, and, you know, our, our, our team just didn't fall apart. Like, our team stayed together. Um, they stayed encouraged. And, you know, we overcome a lot of adversity. So that was good for us uh, mentally and growing as a team moving forward. How can the team keep the momentum going to hopefully extend the winning streak on senior night? Um, senior night is, is a special night for me as a coach um, because it's one of those nights where, you know, it could be the last home game for seniors. So we always want to send them out, um, you know, the right way, and that's, you know, winning the game. So um, this week we've just been focused on being more disciplined, um, understanding that, you know, we got we to gotta stay together, stick together as a team, you know, cut out the silly mistakes. So that's cutting out the silly stuff during practice as well. And uh, we just hope that, you know, with our plan, our game plan, and being more disciplined this week during practice, that it pay off on Friday. What is the key focus for this week in the team's final home game of the regular season versus Wayne? Again, um, just playing together as a team, 48 minutes of north side football, being fast, smart, tough, and disciplined, and just seeing, sending our seniors off the right way. This is a special senior class, so I, I want to win as much as they do. So uh, we just got to play together, and, and we can make it happen. Thank you for your time. All right. And now it's time for the latest edition of Staff 101 and some messages from the Northside administration team. I know you're tired of loving with nobody to love. Close your eyes and let the word paint a thousand pictures. One good girl is worth a thousand riches. Discussion round one, waffles versus pancakes. I just want to emphasize that waffles are extremely delicate. They're extremely intricate. They can only be made by humans. There is no waffle machine in contrast, there are pancake machines. They have to be made by machines. AI is going to take over the waffle yeah, the pancake crazy. market. We that's have crazy. to emphasize the fact that waffles are better. Yeah. I just would Thank like you. to oppose by saying that there are plenty of waffle making machines. Usually you use a machine to make a waffle, but rarely do you ever make a pancake from a machine. In fact, it's more statistically shown that pancakes are used are, are made by using a spatula and a human arm, whereas waffles are made by using a machine and tongs. I'd like to know where you got that, you know. But just going back to Serena's point, waffles are delicate. Waffles can only be made by humans, while pancakes will be taken by AI, you know? And, you know, I completely agree with you, Megan. You never, ever see waffle machines. Statistically, never? <laughs> What's good, legends? Thank you so much for watching this speech and debate video produced and filmed and acted by the speech and debate team made up of only three people, which means we need way more people by the end of this video. So if you are interested, please look at the information on the bottom of the screen. Thank you. You might be wondering just what's going on right now, and this event is called Broadcasting. You read a script and you act like a radio person, even though this is giving more YouTube, but I've never done it, so how can I say? I don't know. Hey, if you're trying to go to college, you better join Speech and Debate because this is probably the best thing you can put on your college apps. There's currently about 20 or so categories to choose from, and they're very widespread, so anybody can do speech. We only have competitions around twice a month, and they're always at really awesome schools, and we beat them every time. Top five ranking every time last year, just saying. Thank you so much for listening about speech and debate. The first meeting is on October 2nd in D308 with Mr. Didion and the four members of speech and debate. Be there or be square. Lo and behold, the next generation of speech and debate people. Oh. Okay. With this being Ivy Tech's first year as a 3DE business partner, what are your initial thoughts of 3DE? I think 3DE is amazing. I 
am enjoying actually everything that the students are learning and how they are learning. Um, the analytical skills, the, the um, just working through all of the problems and the solutions, and it's real, real world. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, I would say the exact same. Uh, uh, watching the students really work through those those problems, collecting the data, um, doing the the research that is necessary for. Um, them to bring the the strongest presentation forward has been really enjoyable to watch today. What have you been doing at Northside today with these teams? We have been meeting with the most phenomenal sophomores I think I've ever met. Um, coaching, I would say giving advice, mentoring, providing some tips along the way. Um, man, just chatting it up and listening to a lot of really great ideas. Really trying to hone their ideas down. They've they've got um, um, some pretty interesting ideas as to what programs they'd like to see Ivy Tech offer. But it's really now getting the the data and and asking those those critical questions that really get them to think deeply about the uh, their presentation. Okay, and our last question. I know you can't choose a winner yet or give any tips, but have there been any presentations or ideas that have stuck out to you today? Yes, most definitely. I think, man, I think it's close. I have a couple teams, um, one of which I might have taken a picture with. Yes, we did. Yes, we certainly did take a picture with them. Um, they had the research already done. They had um, uh, a really good grasp of what the um, what the scenario is and uh, came with a lot of really great questions. So we've had a few groups like that today. So it'll be hard to choose come time. I guess we'll find out the winner on October 19th. Thank you, coaches. Hey guys, Tobias Elena here, and uh, I just want to talk to y'all about what's going on here at Northside this Friday. We'll be hosting the Wayne Generals here at Chambers Field uh, for our seasonal pink out every year. In uh, October, we use we have a pink out to just spread awareness because you know October is the month we use to spread awareness for breast cancer using the color pink. Uh, this year, but this year is not like any other breast cancer game. This year, we will actually be hosting and helping a company by the name of Breast Boxes. Breasty Boxes is a local not-for-profit company here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, owned by a lady named Erica. Erica pitched the idea of making these gift boxes, slash donation boxes, around two, three years ago for breast cancer patients in need. She get these, she get these uh, boxes out all around town for people going through their treatments and, and phases of breast cancer just to help them uplift them in a in a very very down moment in their life so yeah this we she will be there at the game this friday so stop by donate talk to her figure out what's going on and see you guys this friday thank you all right i wanted to take a moment to thank tobias and his team for putting together this project amazing project that is near and dear to my heart and near and dear to many people's hearts uh, hopefully someday this is one of those diseases we can eradicate, but thank you, Tobias. Appreciate thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right. You ready? Yes. Why do pancakes always win at baseball? They have the best batter. <laughs> yes. All right. That doesn't count. Number two, are yeah. you ready? Yeah. All right. Someone asked me what is what the ninth letter of the alphabet was. It was a complete guess, but I was right. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't either. All right, you ready? Wait, hang on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. <laughs> but I was right. <laughs> there it is, All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Game face? Yep. All right. 
which bathroom fixture would be the worst life preserver? Do, 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 do. The sink. <laughs> Here's for all of our teachers. You ready? Yep. Channel your inner teacher. What's the king of all school supplies? I don't know. <laughs> the ruler. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I'm not going to laugh this time. No, no, no. All right. Uh, stone cold. We'll see. They have dead puppies. Ouch. <laughs> why was the gossip disliked at the coffee shop? She always spilled the tea. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> what do you get if you cross an elephant and a fish? I don't know. Swimming trunks. <laughs> <laughs> How many more of these we got? One, and it's a tongue twister. Okay, okay. Bear with me. Okay. All right. What do you call fake Sudoku? Use your brain. Fake Sudoku. Sudoku. <laughs> Sudoku. What? <laughs> Sudoku. That's so stupid. I said you all right, all right, that's <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Northside. <laughs>morning Northside. I'm over here at the corner of State and Spy Run and this morning we're going to look at a few uh, little tips on crossing the street so we don't have people who are getting hit. We had a couple close calls here late, lately and we want to make sure you're paying attention to the right things. Here's a good reason to be careful and watch out because somebody actually hit that post and this is on the walking way of the corner. Here are the lights. Make sure that we are seeing it. Look, left turn lane, and the hand still says hold. Make sure these cars, because are doing what they're now, you may walk, but you gotta watch turning vehicles as well. There we go. They are turning. They get to turn first, and we have the red hand, so we can't. There we go, now it's turned green to go for you guys. Walk across using the green light. And you gotta be careful because we do have people turning in the turn lane. There we go. Traffic's coming in the morning, it's pretty dark out here, so drivers can't see you, so we gotta be wary. And we got people in the turn lane who are coming, turning. We cannot cross here until that hand goes white and shows a person crossing the crosswalk. Here it comes, got a turn person here. There we go. Now it is turn and you may walk. Be careful, make sure that we are watching out for other people who are on their phones and not being safe. Have a great day, lads. As you can see, I'm standing in front of our sign, but more importantly, I'm standing in front of the crosswalk. And I just wanted to give a little public service announcement about the crosswalk. When you see the light tell you to walk, that's when you go. Because here's the problem. Even if it's no traffic going left and right, someone may be turning like that truck and hit you. You always want to assume a driver does not see you when you're crossing the road. Because here's the deal. They're on their phone. They're texting. People do it, even grown-ups. They don't ever think a driver sees you. When you're looking at a car, assume they can't see you. Wait for that crosswalk to be green and then go. Don't go beforehand, okay? It, it's a few minutes that could save your life. We've had people get hurt. I don't wanna see that. So be very careful. You know I care about all of you. I want you to be safe. Watch that sign. Am I pointing the right thing? Yeah, right there. Watch it. Watch the sign. That's it, Northside. Have a good day. Hey Legends, this Friday there will be a special food truck at the football game for a great cause. Acme by Full Circle will have their 
food truck at the game, and 10% of all sales will go directly to the Northside Athletics Building. The food truck will accept cash and car payments. Don't forget, Friday's game is a pink out and senior night. Kickoff is at 7 p.m., but get there early. The food truck line will be long. See you on Friday night, legends. All right, Northside, we are taking these donuts to Miss Harding's class because they won the door contest. Let's go. On the way, I'll say Miss Harding not only got donuts for her class, she also got this awesome certificate and a Subway gift card. So teachers, next year, you know, you're, you're in, you can have lunch for free too, on top of a donut. As we walk through the halls, you can see people are put away and quietly working. Good job, 10th grade. <laughs> Hi, Cece. Everyone say hi, Cece. <laughs> Let's get a shot of that winning door. And yeah, these light up too, as well. Pretty nice, based after a song. I don't know what song, but it's a song. Can you pause that? Look at that guy on the screen. Hey, congrats, you won the door contest. You get donuts. Miss Harding, here's your certificate. Okay. And a Subway gift card for Miss Harding. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank, you. thank you, thank you. If you have leftover donuts, they go in the last. Okay, all so, right. Did you know how you want? <laughs> We are at, we are at, where are we at? The Grand Wayne Center, Grand C and we're getting ready to have lunch, right? We're getting ready, and we're going to have Taste of the Old Five, and we're going to sit down. Are you guys pretty excited? All right, good. Okay, so we are looking at all of our amazing desserts, so they wanted to do a Taste of the Old Five, so we're actually going to, are we going to do our... Are you guys going to do desserts first or are we going to wait to the end and do the dessert test take? Whatever you want right now. You want to do them right now? Okay, we're going to eat in backwards order. So we're all going to have our own fork and spoon, but we're going to share all the desserts. So we got it. You got to you got to take you got to take a little bit. You got to make sure now watch, make sure you cut it off. Now take your spoon so when you don't cross contaminate everybody. Oh, uh, chocolate is good. This is the New York style cheese. All right, I'm going to pass the chocolate to you. We got to go in the order. Oh, this is the extra one. This is the extra one here. What is this? This is some kind of... Uh, what is it? This is some kind of cheesecake. Yeah. That's actually really good cheesecake. Is that what you have too? Cheesecake? What else do we have? Here, try the cheesecake one. What's that one? All right, let me try the. What are you What are you calling this? Don't eat with your mouth open. You can't do a taste of pie with your mouth open. It's called the key lawn pie. Key lawn pie? Yep. What does it taste like? Has a, a hint of lemon. Oh, that is lemony. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's cheesecake. I recommend key lime pie at Anthony Wayne Center. Where do, you, where do they get this? I don't know. We can ask them. <laughs> okay, what's that thing? That's the only one I haven't tried yet. Also, cheesecake. Um, it's very strong. Strong. It's got, something. It's got caramel. You can't go wrong with caramel. Like, that looks like the. It's like turtle. It's something turtle. Turtle dove caramel. That looks pretty good to me. And it's got whipped cream. I'm gonna eat the whole butter. You wanna eat the butter? They haven't crossed contaminant. We're licking our own spoon. It's okay. We're basically being the Oh, this is gonna be. That's. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's that's really good. Now, I'm saying that's the best one. You tried them all? I have not tried them all. That chocolate cake looks really good, though. I thought the chocolate or her chocolate cake. I gotta try that chocolate cake. Yeah. 
You gotta put the whipped cream on there. Dude, you gotta cut it with your knife because you know you're cross contaminating. Yeah. Now you tell me that's not pretty good. Yeah, that's That's really good. That's solid. Oh, I wanna try that cake. I gotta try that cake. No, that's not the same. Look, that has this has no peanuts or whatever. And that has like a thing in the middle. I know my desserts. Okay. Mm. I just want to know what part I should. I'm gonna, you know, what, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sort of go like this. No, that's too much chocolate. Like this. Okay. Yeah, having having a bit of everything. Yeah, I'm gonna try. There we go. No cross contamination at all. You know, I have made a mess on my spot. It's not gonna work. What do you think about it? It's fudge. It's just fudge? It's brownie, like a fudge brownie. Okay, yeah. That that one right there is the best one. That one? Yeah. See that mm -hmm. they're eating it? Yeah. That was really good. They're not sharing at all. They're sharing. No, it's done. It's gone. <laughs> it. We let it go from this side of the table. It was over. Look at the mess I've made. And look how you made. You did not make any mess. Okay. What do you have? Chicken you got breast. Chicken breast. With some green beans on the side. Green so beans. Like they were like sauteed in something. Over um, some kind of mashed potato-y yeah. thing. With gravy. With gravy. Yeah. With bread and butter. I'm going to have to eat a lot of bread because that I don't know if that's going to fill me up. You think that's going to fill you up? Is that going to fill you up? Well, I am not that it's corn. It's what? It's corn. This is corn? It looks, no, it's butter, but it looks like corn. Oh yeah, I have some corn butter. I'll, I'll get some in a second. Your bread is good? You're starving, aren't you? No? You just you just like the bread? Okay, have we done a chicken tasting test yet? Yes. Hey, Jer Bear, cut this. Okay, what is... What is going on over here? Okay, you're gonna test the chicken. It has everything on it. That's, so that's like a bowl. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Is it juicy? It's juicy. Chicken's juicy. Mm -hmm. Green beans, are the green beans soft or sort of like soft firm? It's soft firm. Yeah, yeah, I hate a mushy oh, green bean. So you can't good. have a green bean that's mushy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the only thing we did have a concern about was Moses' biscuit. Okay, what's this? They are also using them as hammers. Okay, that is the damage that was done to our table. It is wrecked. <laughs> This is the messiest group of eaters I have ever seen. That's you. Don't leave yourself out. Now, who made this mess here? <laughs> I know, that was me. <laughs> okay, this is Giovanni, and he just tried that pie, which is a strawberry rhubarb pie. How good was that pie? That was actually really good. I told you, it's amazing. We did not have that on my table, or I would have definitely eaten the whole thing. But that is good pie. It's a really good. It's sweet and tart. Yes, it is. And that's like, rub. That's the rhubarb. You know, rhubarb is like a. It grows like a weed almost, like a like celery, but it's red. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. That's all for today's edition of Weekly Northerner. Don't forget the first quarter ends next week. Have a great weekend, Legends. Make sure to wear pink and bring your student ID tonight's, to tonight's game. We'll see you here next week before fall break.